Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the definition of current liabilities. As I do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition and then we'll go on to look at an example and give you a little more insight into how it's actually used and what it actually means. Current liabilities are a company's debts or obligations which are due within the next 12 months. Current liabilities are the opposite of current assets and are found on a company's balance sheet. Examples include things like salaries, interest payments, exam uh, accounts payable, and other debts due within a single year. Analysts will use the current ratio or quick ratio, also known as the asset test ratio, to determine whether or not a company has a financial ability to pay off its current liabilities. Current liabilities are found on a company's balance sheet. For this example, we'll be looking at Walmart Stores Incorporated. We're looking at, obviously, the balance sheet here. Let's scroll on down here and look at the uh, liabilities section. As we've mentioned before, and we've gone over this in, in video, uh, the first portion of the balance sheet will be assets. And then, of course, you'll move on down. Once you get below the assets, you come to the liabilities. And the very first item on that will be the current liabilities. And these are going to be items which are due within a, a year, 12 months time period. And you see that there are three accounts in this particular balance sheet um, under the current liabilities. So these are the three items here that we'll go into individual, uh, individually in, in video. So I'm not going to go into those right at this moment, but just give you a little more insight into the current liabilities here. Uh, again, as the definition stated, the current liabilities are the you know the bills and the, and the, the uh, uh, debts due. The, by the company uh, in the next 12 months, but they're a little bit more than that. They're also a source of assets. As we mentioned before, all of the assets on a balance sheet will total all the liabilities and the stockholders' equity because a company actually obtains assets by either uh, getting financing via liabilities uh, or they go out and they get uh, stockholders' equity and they, they purchase assets that way. So uh, whenever you're looking at these items, like we mentioned before in a previous video, when you're looking at uh, Walmart uh, in this uh, example here, you can see that the inventory on this particular assets and the current assets here, uh, this shows $40.7 billion worth of inventory. Now, the company has two choices. How are they going to um, purchase that those items that are going to be on their shelves? They can either take shareholders' equity and, and basically take that cash and go invest it and buy all the inventory they want and stick it on the shelves, or they can go to their vendors and say, okay, we want all this uh, inventory sent to us. And so the vendors say, okay, we'll send it out to you right away. And they do that and they send them a bill. And now the company in this particular case is probably going to say, you know, we'll give us 60 days to pay the bill. And so the, comp the, the vendors say, okay, you've got 60 days. Well, those vendors, their accounts payable is what we call them, which is $55.9 billion. So these companies are actually, and Walmart is actually using the vendor's money, a short-term loan, in order to acquire its inventory. Because remember, if in the previous videos we showed you that inventory turn ratio here is basically it takes them 42 days to turn that, uh, basically sell all their inventory. So if they have 42 days to sell all their inventory and they have 60 days to pay back their accounts payable, they basically have a short-term loan by their vendors, which we'll call accounts payable, which basically actually has no, uh, it's interest-free basically for 60 days. So that's an important little tidbit for you just because these are negative items. They're also um, sources of creating assets. Now, if we're looking at something like a bank, the accounts payable would actually be uh, individual checking accounts, savings accounts, and things of that nature. So, for example, if you have a checking or savings account with Wells Fargo and you would pull the balance sheet for Wells Fargo, you would find they showed their accounts payable and they, that number would actually include your personal checking account or so forth and so on because you could actually go out to you know your bank account tomorrow and withdraw all the funds so they have to show it there. So that's an important thing to note that, yes, they, you have... Uh, your money in the bank and so they show that it's an accounts payable but they're also using your money to create assets so it's just kind of a duality there to think about please take a moment to review our disclaimer the information provided herein is our opinion only under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment you are responsible for your own due diligence to summarize we do not provide investment advice nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.